Hey guys, one, two, three, as I started my recording. You know it's your girl, Twin D. Thank you for stopping by my channel. Please like, share, subscribe, and of course, make sure you hit that notification bell so you're notified whenever I post new videos. And guys, make sure you have it, the notification turned on on your YouTube app, okay? On your cell phone. Because it doesn't matter if you hit the bell. If your cell phone is not accepting notifications from YouTube, you're not gonna get them, okay? Okay. All right, guys. Thank you so much for coming to the camp. Let's jump into your message. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. All right, guys. No communication Thursday. Let's see what's going on with your divine masculine. Why there is no communication. Guys, I'm getting that there is um, some addiction here. Some things that they're addicted to. But it's like they're working on it. Getting some changes going on. They're changing some things. And that something is going to happen very sudden as well. Don't forget guys. Support your girl. Watch at least 30 seconds of the ads that are going to pop up. Help to support your girl, okay? You hear that? Ding, ding. <laughs> All right. Let's see. What's, what's going on, God? What should we know in regards to what's happening around these divine masculines? Why they are not talking. Why they are not talking. They're changing their perception. They're changing their perception in regards to something. So they're, they're like in the spiritual realm right now. Like in the in-between. And for some, there is somebody that's watching them. There's somebody that's watching them. And I did a reading before, but I, I, I'm going to post it after this one. Where... There is this partner around your divine masculine that's stalking the masculine because the masculine knows that they're coming towards you. Watch out for that message. It's going to premiere around 2.30 your time. 1.30 my time, Manitoba time. So watch out for that. Okay? Because these messages, they always intertwine. One is always leading up to the next. Your masculine has a stalker. Somebody's watching your masculine. That's why they cannot talk to you. That's why they cannot say anything. Because there's someone that's keeping track of them. It's somebody around them. It's someone that they're in a partnership with. An agreement. Ding, ding. Thank you very much. Okay. Okay, Father God. What, what else? What else is happening around these divine masculines here? Why they aren't talking. 323. Three, why there's no communication. Some of them have made up their mind. They're being strategic. They're making up their mind to communicate with you. But it's like. I ain't even gonna say anything. I ain't, I ain't even gonna let them know that I, I want to start something new with them. So this is a second group of masculine. Some of your masculines see that, like this group here, they see like, it, like it's taking a risk. It's taking a risk. So it's like they're weighing out their options. Should I, should I not? 414. Should I, should I not? Because I've been heartbroken so many times. Who to tell? It's not going to happen again. Should I, should I not? So they're taking their time out to plan. Because they do feel the same way that you feel about them. They do like you. They're in love with you. But they're not showing their feelings because they don't want that feelings to get slammed down in the dirt like it, it was in the past. You know, what else, should we, what else should we know? What else should we know, Father God, as to why there's no communication with these divine masculines, please? The butterfly. 
They're healing their inner childhood wounds. They're healing, they're growing. There are some divine masculines here who have separated themselves from a, a relationship. And that time, they're using it to heal. So there's no communication because there's some here who is done and over with a past relationship and they're using the time now to heal. Working on their inner child wounds so they can grow, so they can evolve, so they can take your connection to the next level. Because they know what they want. They know who they want. 535. Five. They know what they want, who they want, where they're going. But they do not want to come to you battered, torn, hurt. Because they know you deserve better. So they're taking that time out. See that? They're taking that time out to heal themselves. This separation between you and them, this no communication is driving them crazy. They miss you. They miss you. And here you go again. It's fear. Fear of feeling not enough. Like I said, they know you deserve better. So some of them, they're not talking, they're not communicating because they think you deserve better. They're lacking confidence that they are what's good for you. So they're withdrawing. But this separation is driving them crazy. This separation is driving them crazy, guys. They're missing you so much. They're missing you. Let's see what's on the top. Whoa! <laughs> so they are going to cave in. They're going to cave in and they're going to they're gonna call you. There, there's going to be some expression here. Expressing the way they feel. Telling you all kind of things. All kind of lovey-dovey things. How I feel about you. How I miss you. How I'm thinking about you. They're going to let you know. They're going to let you know. Because they're healing. And things are definitely coming to light. So now they can show the way that they feel instead of Hiding it. Instead of hiding it. What else can you tell us that's happening around these divine masculines? Why there's no communication, please. You have the consultant. This is you. And you have the flatterer. For some of you, your persons, they know they have to make a choice. They know there's one person that truly loves them. And they know there's another person that is just fake. <laughs> this is the third message that is talking about these fake people. They know. The next message after this also mentions these fake pe fake people make sure you watch them guys so you see how the stories are playing out your person is now convinced that this these people that's surrounding them is the cause of their heartbreak is the cause of their separation from the divine feminine your person is in love with you and they're going to put an end to the situations that they know is not good for them. But there's a little fear. There's still some fear. That's why they're not talking. There's still some fear. And we can't say, well, they should know that we love them. No, that's not the way it is. You love someone. You love someone, but then sometimes fear overcomes you. And you can't move because when you're struck with fear you freeze you stand in your tracks you can't move you feel paralyzed by fear fear is a powerful thing that's why we are not supposed to have fear in our heart that's why the only thing that should be there is love because when you have fear you are stuck 
You can't move. You can't make a phone call. You can't send a text message. You can't see your person and say, hey, my lovely person, how are you today? No, because you're fearing. You can't even express yourself like these divine masculines. We have gone through that situation already. Some of us, we, we, we are bold. We, we just speak our mind. And that's some of us, that, that's our wound as well. Some of us feminines to learn to pull back a bit, to learn to not speak so freely, to learn to not offer too much at once. But these persons that these masculines were with is the very reason why they are fearing to move forward because of how their situation played out. There is someone that's giving your person advice. There is someone giving your person advice. Your person wants to end this separation between you and them. But your person is getting some advice right now. They're getting advice in order to transform so they can see clearly. So they're not talking to you. They're talking to somebody else. The 1111, no doors are opening. New doors are opening. Your person is being enlightened. 1111 is a sign of enlightenment. It's not a sign that you're a twin flame. It's a sign that you are enlightened and you are being awakened. I'll talk about that in another video. <laughs> but your person is getting some advice on how to move away from a situation. On how to move forward to calmer waters, the four of wands. On how to move towards this their destiny and how to close this separation that this gap between you and them a trip to the country this situation that has gone on too long they want to heal it they want to cure this situation they're coming in for a visit see i know the messages are tying into each other it's like again these masculines are ending something here. They're, they're going to end the fear in their heart once they get over this situation that they ended. And then they can speak to you. Then they can come towards you. Then they can approach you. They're gaining the strength that they need. One, two, three. There's, a, there's an offer coming in. There, there's, a, there's an I'm sorry. There's an apology. This took so long. There is a brand new beginning in truth. There is truth that is going to be revealed. It is fear that's keeping your person from talking to you. Fear. Not fear of you, but fear of what if this doesn't work out. Fear of I am not good enough. See that? They're being enlightened. 1111, important revelation. They're being enlightened about things they're holding on to and things that they should let go off of. So during this period of no separation, they're going through enlightenment. They're going through enlightenment. My, my, my cards are... Yes. They're going through enlightenment. So don't worry about it. They're going through enlightenment. Oracle of Truth. What else can you tell me as to the reason why? There's no communication here between these masculines and feminines. Jesus have mercy, this just fell right out. So divine feminines, some of we guys here. <laughs> some of we feminines here. And this came out in the other reading too. I love my messages, man. That's why I wanted to try and give you more messages. Because there's always more that, that God wants to say. But sometimes, guys, I'm so tired because I do the messages so long. And they take so, so much out of me. But now that I'm doing them shorter, I can give you more. And I'm not even tired when I'm done. So, hey, men, like I said, win-win for both of us. Some of us, some of us feminines, we're being too clingy. We're being too clingy. So we got to stop pushing, stop wanting to know, stop wanting to hear, stop wanting to see them. It, this journey is about us. We got to focus on us. We know that we love them and it's so good to feel love. 
But once you realize that this journey is about self-love and you loving yourself and not accepting crap from anyone, no matter how much you love them, then that should be motivation enough for you to release this person, release the situation and put all your energy and focus on yourself and communicating, connecting with God. That's what this journey is about. Another reason why there's no communication. There's a karmic partner, so there's a third party situation involved here. Regretting past action. So some of them are ashamed of things that happened in the past between you and them. They're ashamed. They know you are soulmates or whatever. Look at this. There's a commitment coming. There's a commitment coming. So some of them are trying to decide. That's why they're talking to someone. That's why they're talking to someone that's older than they are, more wiser to get information. Could be a dad, could be an older friend, but they're talking to someone, an uncle, whatever, an aunt, whoever it is, because they want to know that they're making the right decision. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. Thinking and dreaming about you. I, I said it. They're thinking about you a lot. They're having dreams in regards to you. That's why they're going to be moving forward. Because these dreams are pushing them to you. These dreams are showing them what they can have with you. These dreams are showing them their happiness with you. Play, laugh, be happy. Be happy. Don't chase. Don't chase. You'll just be wasting your time. You'll just be wasting your time. Your person is making changes and the changes they're making, you cannot be there. You cannot be an influence. You cannot be an influence. <laughs> they're going to return. So even though there's no communication, guys, you got to hold the fort down in your house, in your heart, in your mind, in your connection with God, with your children. They will deal with their situation. 1707. Your past lover will return. Seven one one. Let's see what. Let's see if I can get some message. Ding ding. Let's see. seventeen seventeen. Okay, divine masculine is here. Give me some messages here that you would like to say to your person. Seeing that you don't want to communicate, give me some messages, please. This is the Amy Saturi deck. Ah, oh, didn't I tell you that? They were ashamed because they're regretting their past actions. I am so ashamed and embarrassed. I can't bear to look you in the eyes and tell you everything. I can't stand the thought of making you cry. Just let me build up the courage to confront this. There you go. That sums up everything. That sums up everything. <laughs> they choose you. They choose you. They choose you. They're working things out. The top of the deck says, some of my friends and our family don't approve of you, but I don't care. So there are issues that you're facing 1818 on the bottom of the deck. I've given it so much thought. I know it to be my deepest truth. I choose you. They're choosing you. They're choosing you. I know you think your body isn't perfect but it's heaven to me and I often think about and look forward to exploring it and how to pleasure you beyond what you've known I want you so bad so they do want you there you are and this is like for some message for some of you guys who have been intimate with your person the same way you feel about yourself is the same way the masculine will feel about you 858 it will feel about themselves So even though there's no communication, guys, this is what's happening. And just know that things are changing. Take care of yourselves, everyone. Love you all. Let go and let God. Please like, share, subscribe, and make sure you watch at least 30 seconds of my videos to support your girl. You know, that's how YouTubers, we get paid, you know. And if you don't watch the ads, then it doesn't make any sense we're here. Because these messages that we give and the time, it is... It is free to you guys and you you don't pay us YouTube pays us so you know if you can support us donations a reading whatever support us watch those videos 
okay love you guys and i do thank you for your support i do thank you you guys have no idea how much i appreciate you number one you're the reason why i'm here you're the reason this channel started you're the reason god sent me here and i appreciate you guys so so much i miss you because i cannot be in the in the chat room with you like i used to but i am working hard to get my house set up so i can get back to you guys so I can answer your questions in real time and help you through your situations thank you guys for always being here thank you for joining this camp thank you for raising for raising the, the, the twin flame awareness of what it truly is a connection with God thank you for the support love you all let go and let God. To purchase a reading, go to twindflamed.square.site. Later, guys. Let go and let God.